It's the Super Bowl. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Washington football team. And the Steelers come into this one blazing hot. Have dominated since the onset of this season. And this is going to be a very interesting game. Dwayne Haskins takes on the team that drafted him, the team that brought him into this league. After a record-setting season for him, he can cap it off with a Super Bowl championship against his former team early on here. Going to find Juju Smith-Schuster. Going to pick up the first down right there. And then they're going to come back first and 20 after a holding call. Going to find Pat Fryermuth. And that's going to be a first down, picking up 20 right there. Then they're going to come back now on a third and seven. Haskins rolling to the right. And he's just going to keep it here. Gets a key block from Najee Harris. That keeps the drive alive. As Haskins gets out of bounds, picks up the first down. So now second and ten. Stepping back. Throws this one. Going to find Fryermuth underneath, who fights for an extra three yards right there, looks like. And that's going to be third and one. So now a handoff to the running back who went over 2,000 yards on the season. Najee Harris going to get tackled, but not before he picks up the first down at the 16. So now another handoff here. Najee Harris gets the outside, runs over one guy, runs over another into the end zone. He goes. Najee Harris with the touchdown and the Steelers strike first. Take a look at that right there. Just some tough running. He has been running like that all season long. Runs over Collins. Runs through a poor tackle attempt right there for the touchdown. Now out comes the Washington football team quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Look at that. 4,200 yards on the season. 37 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. He's had a fantastic year. Second and 11 now. Bridgewater throws underneath. Going to find Tariq Cohen. to try to fight through the tackle right there. And gets brought down. Now third and three. Bridgewater hit as he throws. And that one was almost picked off. So Pittsburgh, they take over now. Second and ten. Haskins on the run. Going to find Najee Harris. And he's in the open field. Gets out of bounds at the 31. Big gain right there. So now second and six. Play action look. Haskins looking. Throws this one up to the back of the end zone. That one's broken up. So now third and six. Haskins looking. Going to find Fryermuth. That's going to be short of the first down. But there's a flag on the play. What is it? Going to be another holding call. Two of these today. Early on in this game. So now another play action look here. Haskins going to take another shot at the end zone to Max Rush. And he can't hold on to the football. So out would come the field goal unit. And that one's going to be good. So now a 10 to nothing lead here for the Steelers. Now Bridgewater throws this one to Terry McLaurin, and that one's going to get broken up. Pass was sort of off target. Would have just stood in the pocket. Probably could have delivered a better ball. So now the Steelers, third and five. Going to be Fryermuth picking up the first down. Missed tackle again. Some poor tackling from this football team football team pick a name already guys haskins now gonna find juju smith schuster on second and eight that'll probably make it around third and two so now third and two handoff here to Najah harris gets some key blocking into the end zone he goes touchdown pittsburgh steelers now up 17 in this one once again just good blocking here kendrick green with a great block right there and that's really what opened it up for him. Chase Claypool with another good block as well. Uh, that's what makes him so valuable at that slot position. He's usually one of the first lead blockers for Najee Harris. And he's very good at it. So now second and seven and down goes Bridgewater. That'll make it third and very long. As just, a, just able to get around his man right there with Stefan to it. And no one else was able to get open for Bridgewater. So now, offensive line kind of holds up. Bridgewater takes a shot to Terry McLaurin. And McLaurin comes down with that one at the 13. 
So now Bridgewater stepping back on the run here, and Tuit gets another sack. He's getting to it in this one. Two sacks on the day, second and 22 coming up now. So now second and 22, Bridgewater screen play. Going to find Cohen. Not going to pick up much, just going to pick up a few yards right there. So now third and 17. Can't afford a sack here, and he gets sacked. Thankfully, he didn't drift too far back in the pocket. Fourth and 26. Going to be a somewhat long field goal, but very makeable. And that one's going to be good. And the football team, the Washington football team, not the one from Pittsburgh, the Washington one, gets on the board with three. But still down 17-3 to three here. Deep throw right here. Max Rush comes back to the football, keeps the feet in bounds. And that's going to be a first down here. Time winding down in the first half of the Super Bowl. So now Juju Smith-Schuster, deep shot, comes down with a touchdown. Pittsburgh, they extend the lead even more. Juju Smith-Schuster coming down with that one. Dwayne Haskins getting to work. So now, end of the quarter here. It's going to be Washington football team with a field goal to make it 24-6. Now we come back, third quarter, after the halftime show. And there's going to be a fumble. Brooks forces it. C.J. Henderson picks it up. Scoop and score. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And the blowout is on. 31-6. Bridgewater going to need a big play right here. And he's going to get a big play because he's going to get sacked. T.J. Watt comes up with the football, but the big play is going to be for the Steelers. Cam Hayward tweaked his shoulder a little bit. He'd stay in the game. It's now a screen play here to Najee Harris. A few plays later into the end zone goes Najee Harris. And he is just dominating here in this game. This is the Najee Harris game. Look at them, just put the shoulder down, running right through Fuller, decides to just shove him off instead as he walks into the end zone. So now Teddy Bridgewater going to throw one up here. This one is almost intercepted or caught. So now second and ten. Here it is, Bridgewater looking here. That one's just a little too high. Not sure why the running back was happy about that. So now here is another throw here underneath. Cohen can't do much with that one fourth and five they'd have to punt the ball again so Najee Harris gets to the outside breaks one tackle open field still running still going finally out of bounds at the 29 and he has just really turned that sort of stuff on as we've gotten later in the season and throughout the playoffs here's here is Max Rush getting a pass there from Dwayne Haskins. Now first and goal, four yards to go. Spinning into the end zone is Najee Harris. And he's into the end zone again. Make it 45-6. to six. Ran into a wall here, just sort of spins his way into the end zone. Let's take another look at that. Was running into the wall, decides to just spin back out. And there's the touchdown, and here is a big play right here. Tariq Cohen, wide open. Must have been a blown coverage. Someone forgot about the running back. And into the end zone goes to goes Tariq Cohen. So now third and two. Look at this. Second, third, fourth effort right there by Najee Harris. And he comes back again very next play, or at least a few plays later on third and goal. And that is his fourth rushing touchdown. And that, if I'm correct... That puts him in the first place for most individual rushing touchdowns in the history of the Super Bowl. So now 10 seconds left. Haskins deep throw right here. Going to find Max Rush. Call a timeout. Because they want to get five for Najee Harris. So now first and goal. This will be the last play. In goes Najee Harris. And into the history books goes Najee Harris. Five rushing touchdowns on the day in this game. Just a dominating game for Najee Harris. He imposed his will onto this Washington football team in this one. And the final play of this game, first and ten, Teddy Bridgewater rolls to the left here. And it's going to be Cameron Hayward getting the sack. And that's almost fitting that the defense shuts it out. Seven sacks on the day for them. And the Steelers 
have done it. Another Lombardi trophy is coming back to Pittsburgh as the Steelers, in dominant fashion, defeat the Washington football team. Najee Harris has to be your Super Bowl MVP after this one. Dwayne Haskins, redemption for him. And it has to feel good doing it against the team that drafted him, the team that supposedly believed in him, the team that was going to build around him, he defeats in the Super Bowl with one of the most storied franchises in all of football, the Pittsburgh Steelers, Dwayne Haskins with the Lombardi Trophy. And what could be the start of a potential dynasty in Pittsburgh? So that was amazing. We win the Super Bowl, dominant fashion. Dwayne Haskins, 21-32, 310 yards, two touchdowns. And then Najee Harris, like I said before in the last video, I really wanted to dominate the game with Najee Harris, and we did that. 32 carries, 244 yards, five rushing touchdowns on the day, if I'm correct. Also had a receiving touchdown. Yes, he did. So six total touchdowns for Najee Harris. Juju Smith-Schuster with a touchdown. You see here, he really did throw the football too much. I mean, didn't really pass it out to too many guys. Chase Claypool didn't even have a reception in this game. Um, you know, not sure if that was by design, just didn't really work that way. And uh, we just had a really good matchup, I think. I think we couldn't... I think that was the best way for us to try to win this game with those edge rushers that they have over there in Washington. So... Uh, T.J. Watt, two and a half sacks. Afon Tuitt, two and a half sacks. Cameron Hayward, one and a half sacks. Alex Highsmith got in for half a one as well. Um, yeah, just a really dominant game. You just see, look at the stats. We just we just dominated this team. And um, you know, maybe Washington is one of those teams. It could be just potential how the sim engine works out. That in sim, they're good. <laughs> and... Uh, when it comes to maybe actually on the field, that it's uh, actually not as good. That that could be something that is possible. Wouldn't surprise me too much with Madden. So take a look here at the season stats. Dwayne Haskins, you already know his stats. Absolute uh, monster season. 60 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. 63 uh, percentage. Percent completion percentage. That's always such a weird thing to say. Najee Harris, 2,000 yards. 26 touchdowns on the year for him absolutely amazing dominant season for Najee Harris uh, Benny Snell was okay for us when we ran with him uh, take a look here at his receiving numbers Najee Harris also had uh, six uh, receiving touchdowns so I'm not sure if that's a record for most like individual touchdowns in this I'm sure there's a record higher from like a position player but uh yeah, I don't really know if that's a record or not. Someone might have to tell me that uh, down below if that is a record. Um, so, yeah, take a look at receptions. We had guys under 100 receptions. Um, a couple guys just a hair over 1,000 receiving yards. Um, you know, we threw the ball a lot for sure. But there was just times in the year, you know, that it just... Some, ga some games... Uh, we ran the ball a lot, too, so I think just a well-oiled machine on offense we had. Uh, if we wanted to run the ball on you, we could run the ball on If we wanted to throw it around, we could. Uh, here's the sack numbers. Cam Robinson surprisingly giving up the most sacks, but it makes sense. A lot of edge, a lot of top flight edge rushers that are over there, you're going to give up some sacks. So there's that. So we come back through here now, some more defensive stats. Uh, Devin Bush led the way tackling for us on the season. And uh, that's pretty good for us. Would rather not see a, don't want to see a corner that high for sure. So that's good. TJ Watt, 29 and a half sacks. Now, if I'm correct, I think in real life, this would be a record. I don't know if it's a record in our franchise just because the way the sim engine works. Some guy may have gotten like 35 sacks or something along those lines. So there's that. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if that's a record, but. Either way, 29 from TJ, uh, Cam Hayward with 15, Tuit with 14, 
Didn't get too much from uh, Highsmith, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, interceptions, C.J. Henderson, J J.C. Jackson, and the rest of those guys. Uh, our secondary is very good on the season, so there is that. So, one final look at the team, and you just take a look at this squad. I think it really comes to our offensive line. The offensive line, when we came into this franchise, wasn't all that good, and now it's very good. Here's Terrence Riles. Our first round pick that didn't play at all, really. Um, we were going to start him at right tackle. He sort of struggled a little bit in like the first two games. So we just went with Michael Wheeler instead and went with him for the right tackle for most of the season. And Terrence Riles sort of just was on the bench. I would maybe bring him in every now and then in some of those packages where you could have a third tight end or an additional down lineman. He would come in on those packages and help us out on that. But he's a superstar. So, you know, honestly, if we were going to continue this franchise for another season, it would probably lead to us trading Cam Robinson. He doesn't have, I don't think he has too high of a cap number. We would probably trade Cam Robinson and then start Riles, whatever cleared up cap space we would have, we'd probably use to get an additional piece on the defense, probably get try to find another edge rusher to put on the opposite side of TJ Watt to uh, really dominate teams, maybe try to get another defensive tackle in here, something like that. But apart from that... You know, this team is built for success. We have a quarterback in Dwayne Haskins. So my phone goes off. It's a, tradition. it's a tradition for each video for this phone to go off. We have a cheap quarterback in Dwayne Haskins. He He's under a cheap deal. That's a very team-friendly deal, so all of our cap isn't tied up in that. So we can make more additions to this defense, which is now really an elite unit. Uh, probably get another middle linebacker. Um, I'm sure Schobert would probably begin to regress, maybe get... Some more depth at corner. But apart from that, our, all of the key players are sort of signed in. Are signed to extensions. Are going to be here. Um, so, yeah. You potentially see like a guy like Isaiah Loudermoke maybe take a little bit more of a bigger step up in, in his role. Um, if we were going to do a third season. But we are not going to do a third season. Because if we do... I'll probably just go 16-0 and and blow everyone out again, and that's not fun. It's just not. So, we are not going to continue this franchise. Najee Harris, a beast, has been the real breakout of this franchise. Just a monster. So, this is it. This is the final episode of Steelers franchise. And I want to thank you guys. This franchise has marked a lot of really good... Uh, thanks for this channel. I want to thank you guys for watching this series, enjoying it. We're not done with Madden 22. We will start a new franchise, but I'm going uh, to sort of not tell you who that is yet. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. So I want to thank you guys one final time for watching this franchise, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.